Kevin, so we're now hearing that the criminal information has been filed in federal court in Washington. This often precedes a guilty plea. So could we see that anytime soon? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing that you're going to hear that guilty plea uh, as soon as today for Rick Gates, the deputy uh, to Paul Manafort. Look, when you look at the indictment charges that came down yesterday, uh, all of this is from tax evasion dating back as far as 2014. When I talk to Republican sources connected to the administration, they say that was well before the time that any of them got involved with the Trump campaign. So uh, from their perspective, this doesn't touch the, the president's inner circle. It doesn't touch what they were doing on the campaign trail. But no question that the Mueller probe is still continuing onward. So it's fascinating, Kevin, because there were reports uh, from various outlets earlier that Gates might be thinking about entering a guilty plea. So this would sort of precede yeah. that then, right? This, in, this entering of all of, his, all of the information on his criminal activities and, and, and sort of upping the pressure so that really he has until 5 p.m. or whatever it is to enter that plea. Right, and, and, and I think we should note the, 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 the charges themselves, which are largely related to failing to disclose representation dating as far back as 2008 to 2014, uh, as well as tax evasion. And so those are separate charges from what originally uh, they had been investigating. So I think that as this continues to unfold, when you look at where this is headed, it really looks like the Mueller probe is intensifying its focus on Paul Manafort and his business apparatus in the Ukraine. Kevin, of course, uh, we have to consider that uh, the indictments themselves on either Paul Manafort or Rick Gates don't actually say anything about uh, the key point of Mr. Mueller's investigation, which is a collusion between the Trump campaign right. and Russia. So what sort of criminal information could we even expect from Rick Gates? Well, I think that's a great point. There, there has been nothing found that suggests collusion. There's been nothing found that votes were altered. I think that if you're out in Silicon Valley, I think that the indictment from last week and you talk to, to tech lobbyists, particularly inside the Beltway, uh, and they're, they're worried about how to better protect themselves heading into 2018 midterms and the rumblings up on Capitol Hill uh, about potential new regulatory reform and disclosure for these tech companies. So I think that as of now, that really has been the focus on the tech Tech industry, as well as uh, with the again the business apparatus surrounding Paul Manafort. Just for your information, Kevin, because you haven't had a chance to look down, the Gates hearing is at 2 p.m. in Washington, according to this filing. The Gates hearing at 2 p.m. Now, Mueller is also saying that Gates lied to the United States on February 1st about the 2013 meeting. He lied about Ukraine discussion, and that 2013 meeting was with lobbyist, a, a Congress member and Paul Manafort, a lobbyist, a congressman, or congress member, and Paul Manafort. So this is adding some information that I don't think we knew. It'll be interesting to see which congress member and uh, which lobbyist those, in fact, are. But that hearing at 2 p.m. Eastern, so if there is going to be a guilty plea, it should come then, correct? <laughs> It could, and you're right, and I think at that hearing, uh, that's when you would anticipate that. The president, of course, just leaving CPAC, speaking here earlier today, in which he announced uh, new sanctions against North Korea, uh, trying to, uh, this comes, of course, as the closing ceremonies are set for just uh, this weekend. It also comes at a time in which the president trying to lay out the case and make the case for the 2018 midterms. The president single-handedly pointing towards states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, as well as Ohio. Ohio in this address and also announcing a new set of gun control laws or proposals rather. He anticipates that lawmakers, once they return from recess next week, will take up some type of school mm -hmm. safety package or even mental health package. All of this comes, of course, following uh, the, right. the, the several rounds of listening sessions that he's held at the White House.